Hello, my name's Matt and I worship with my family at St Philip's in Scholes. And today I will be reflecting on Luke 5, uh, verses 1 to 11, Jesus calls the first disciples. One day, Jesus was standing on the shore of Lake Genserat, while the people pushed their way up to him to listen to the word of God. He saw two boats pulled up on the beach. The fishermen had left them and were washing the nets. Jesus got into one of the boats. It belonged to Simon and asked him to push it off a little from the shore. Jesus sat in the boat and taught the crowd. When he finished speaking, he said to Simon, push the boat out further to the deep waters and you and your partners let down your nets for a catch. Master, Simon answered, we worked hard all night long and caught nothing, but if you say so, I will let down the nets. So they let them down and caught such a large number of fish that the nets were about to break. So they motioned to their partners in the other boat to come and help them. They came and filled both boats so full of fish that the boats were about to sink. When Simon Peter saw what had happened, he fell on his knees before Jesus and said, Go away from me, Lord. I am a sinful man. He and the others with him were all amazed at the large number of fish they had caught. The same was true of Simon's partners, James and John, the sons of Zebedee. Jesus said to Simon, Don't be afraid. From now on you will be catching people. They pulled the boat up on the beach, left everything and followed Jesus. Um, 25 weeks ago, I think actually to the exact day, uh, my boss called us all into a meeting room at work and we were told to go home. It was just before lockdown had been um, announced and the decision was made at work to transition all staff who could remote work to to go home and close the offices. So um, we, we trudged back into the office and collected uh, the things that we would need and carry and we said our goodbyes and went home. Uh, we didn't know what to expect. There was a lot of talk that maybe in 12 weeks we'd be back. Um, but 12 weeks passed and then we talked about returning in September. And well, now it is September um, and the return to the office doesn't appear to be closer. There are no official dates. And when we do return, it will be very different than it was before. There's been much talk of new normal, and it appears for me now, at least, the new normal will be working from home with the occasional trip to the office or our project sites. Um, while this has been a time of upheaval for everyone, it pales in comparison to the upheaval that Peter, Andrew, James and John were about to experience when Jesus called them to be his disciples. Um, they weren't simply going to be fishing in a different location. Everything about their lives would, uh, would change. Their new normal was going to be learning from Jesus and helping to spread his message. Um, while Jesus uses the metaphor of fishers of men, in reality, the, the two jobs have nothing in common. I'm using the word job here, and really I should be using word like vocation, as there'd be no going home at the end of a hard day of discipling, um, it, it would be their whole life. Uh, when I left the office, I took the things with me that I thought I'd need. Um, the disciples made no such preparation. As verse 11 says, they pulled the boats up onto the beach, left everything and followed Jesus. I want you to think about that. They left everything. What would be the things that you would have to leave behind to completely devote your life to Jesus. Um, is that even possible in the world today? What are the things that you could easily give up? What would be a struggle? What possessions would you miss and what could you live without? I, I can't really comprehend leaving with just the clothes I'm wearing and moving to a completely new way of life and leaving the old one behind completely. Um, the list of things I'd miss would be long, um, some of which would be easy to manage without, but I'd be left without a roof over my head and no money to buy food or clothes. Um, for the disciples, they had to trust that by following Jesus, all of their earthly needs 
would be taken care of. And I think that whether we like to admit it or not, many of us um, wouldn't be able to take that leap of faith today. Let us pray. Lord, make us bold in following you and spreading your word. Help us to depend on you rather than earthly things that we so stubbornly cling to. Help us to discern your will and open our hearts to your guidance. Thank you for giving us the example of Jesus and his disciples as templates for us to follow in our lives. We ask all these things in your name. Amen.